Hola amigos, bienvenidos de regreso a MX Disc Golf. Este es un pequeño episodio que les traigo del último round de VPO en Arlington, Texas. No los voy a aburrir con más tiros de este tipo. En realidad como espectador solamente hay algunas zonas en las que sí puedes realmente estar. No nos dejaban ir atrás de ellos en todos los hoyos. Pero, por ejemplo, esta toma es... Este es el hoyo 8 de donde tienen los profesionales. Es un tiro larguísimo. Y quería que apreciaran aquí, desde allá de donde se ve esa carpa azul, hasta donde están estos espectadores, es donde tiran. Lo que sí pudimos hacer es ver a algunos amigos y convivir con algunos de los profesionales con los que ya nos llevamos previamente y conocer a algunos nuevos también. Aquí, por ejemplo, vimos un birdie de nuestro amigo John Rivera, dueño de Tree Love, en el hoyo icónico de este campo, que es el hoyo de la estrella. Sí, amigos, lo están viendo bien. Aquí viene John con su nueva camisa original, primera edición. De MX Disco. We saw your driver, we didn't record it, but I didn't get to put. No way. Good to see you representing the MX Disc Golf. Mm. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Esta vez no fuimos siguiendo a ninguna plantilla en específico, ni a ningún jugador. En realidad solo estuvimos ahí disfrutando del día. Era un día con un clima muy bonito. Y tratar de estar en el momento y disfrutar. Porque a veces cuando estamos grabando y preocupándonos porque si está saliendo todo bien, ni siquiera sabemos qué está pasando, ni quién va ganando, ni nada. Así que esta vez fue para poder estar ahí y disfrutar. Espero que les haya gustado este episodio, amigos. Es un poco diferente, pero es contenido que creo que les puede gustar. Simplemente ver cómo es estar en un torneo y convivir con los profesionales. Y amigos, si ustedes quieren disfrutar de todo el último round narrado en español por su servidor, entonces vayan a GK Pro, vean los links y seguramente por ahí encontrarán que el último round en BPO está narrado en español. Y espero que lo disfruten mucho, déjenme sus comentarios. Y aquí los dejo con algunas entrevistas que pudimos hacer el último día nosotros para nuestro canal de MX Historia. We're at Veterans right now, and we're here with the chain wreck organizers. And uh, tell us your name, where are you from, how are you involved with this organization? Yeah, so um, I'm Dakota Gray. Um, I'm right here, five minutes from the course. This is my home course. Um, it's not just me. It takes it takes an army. I just got involved. I was playing with another club, kind of wanted to still be involved in the tournament scene and. 
Texas chain wreck took them under my took me under their sleeve, got me going, and I'm here now just trying to help out as much as possible. Like I said, I mean Scott Scott Larichi he does so much, man. Makes this tournament smooth, puts the gaps in, makes every every hole smooth. And you can see there was no backups today, not as bad anyway. And uh, here I am. Awesome, yeah. Uh, we we came on Am Weekend, played Am Weekend, that uh, we came and spectated for the Pro Weekend. Both times it was an awesome experience. We had a really great time. So thank you for putting a great great uh, event. Thank you. Um, so this is the 31st? 31st annual. Um, uh, who started organizing it back in the day? So ADGA is actually the club that okay. was here before yeah. Texas Chainwreck. Um, a lot of their members stepped up and ran this event for a long time. Um, like I said, I've only been here for maybe four or five years, so a small portion of all the work that so has been put in over the 31 years. Gotcha. I mean, so, this is fresh to us. We're just trying to build off what they got going, try to make the course better, try to make the event better, try to listen to pros. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to reach out to me, Dakota Gray on Facebook. Um, I'll take any criticism I can. I don't, good, bad, I don't care, let me have it. Um, I'm all about making the course better. Anyway, Thank you. Uh, well, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for this little interview. Thank you. Just wanted to uh, get everybody to know what it's like to run an event a little bit. I can tell I'm glad it's over. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little um, stressful. Every day. once, it's once a year. You know. All right, check out uh, Texas Chain Rig. Thank you. Hey, I'm uh, holding the trophy, right? <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Uh, tell, tell us right now how you feeling. Man, I feel great. I, I love this place. I've been coming here since 2003, and it just is a. Uh, it's just overwhelming and I'm just proud of myself. Are you a local here? I'm not. Okay. I live in Edmond, Oklahoma. Okay. So Oklahoma City area. Have you played here before? I have. All right. Since 03. Oh, so every year since 03, have you never I miss, taken I miss it down? I missed two years. Okay. And you have taken it down so far? Or this uh, this is, uh, I believe, my second. Second, okay. Second in pro and then I've won it once in advance. Well, you played fire today, dude. And so congratulations. Just wanted to make sure that... Uh, we got you on tape, making looking uh, happy and feeling good. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah. Support, like, subscribe, however. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, man. All right. Uh, we're here with Luke Humphrey. Uh, how are you doing, man? Not bad, not bad. Always good to be in Dallas, be, be here for the BPO. Yeah. I love this place, love the people. So it's always a pleasure. Uh, you played pretty good this weekend, man. Uh, and for a while you were in first place. And uh, tell me about the today and how your whole tournament went. Yeah, yeah. Started off great. Got to play with Greg Barsby and Emerson Keith first round. Two of my good buddies, which kept things casual. We had a great flow. Yeah. Shot 10 under to match Greg. Nice. Um, going into round two. And didn't play as well. I missed okay. a bunch of putts. Um, mostly jump putts really low so I went through 150 200 putts last night okay. and, uh, and came back and made the majority of my putts today I felt good about the 12 under awesome yeah I mean that was awesome dude like for for a little bit there we started following you because we were really rooting for you there right on, man. Thank um, you. Yeah, I had a heater going but I wasn't able to close out it's all good, tied Emerson for fourth though yeah it was yeah. good close I think yeah. Um, so, are you from here or are you from Dallas? I claim Dallas a little bit, yeah. Okay. I claim a few places. Right on. I grew up <laughs> a lot of places. Uh, how did you get into this golf originally? I was into golf before okay. that. I played ball golf before and I got a dog. And yeah, I needed yeah. something else to do. And uh, something I could bring him with and ended up being like, I don't really care what kind of birdies I get as long as birdies come, you know, so... Yeah, I got in disc golf that way. A couple friends in Wichita, Kansas, Trey Thompson, Adam Berry. Nice. Cool, man. Um, I actually, the exact same way I got into disc golf. You got a pup? Uh, well, not anymore, but uh, yeah. she she passed away about a year ago, but she was definitely a disc golf dog, and yeah. whenever I got the, the goodest boy hat, it was because I was like, man, that reminds me a lot of 
you know, the, the whole vibe and yeah. everything is pretty badass. Yeah, the dogs, the canines in, in the sport, it's just part of it, you know. Yeah. yeah. We love our dogs. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's amazing. Um, so another thing that we have slightly in common, I would say, is that we were both at the 2018 Amateur World Championships. Oh, yeah. Right and, uh, yeah, that was in Charlotte. In Charlotte. Uh, except I didn't do as hot as this guy did. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I went in as the favorite, so uh, I had to live up to that name. I had just lost the USA DGC at the, the Milford okay. course, at the toboggan course, by one stroke. And so I didn't want to do that again. Okay, yeah. And I stayed on that heater all week because yeah, I man. gave up that lead like a month earlier. For and, sure. Uh, and that's still like the best tournament I've ever played, I think. Man, those were, those were fun courses. They were tough courses. Uh, I was very impressed. I remember... Uh, because at the time I had heard that you were coming from Dallas and I was like, there, the guy that won Worlds plays in the same courses that I play back in Dallas. Yeah, was, to yeah. me, that was like, wow, that was crazy. Mm. Um, and yeah, man, I went and watched you like on the final nine and everything. It was really cool. Like, so now to be here with you, it's like, hey man, that's really cool. I, I And then, I don't know if you remember when the Let's Get Back to Disc Golf. Yeah. I, I won the intermediate there. Okay. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, First that was another, back. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's, that's amazing. And that was something that you put on. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, I gotta get an interview with this guy because uh, I think you're really cool. We've hung out a bunch of times before, have, but totally. he's never actually like got you on camera. Yeah, and we're trying to work on something uh, down south. Hopefully That's correct, we can get guys. to Mexico, uh, build some courses with Kev Jones, possibly. Yes, so stay tuned. There's a lot of more news and more things coming. Uh, we want to continue to grow disc golf south of the border and everywhere in the world. Yeah, agreed. Awesome. Make it international. Thank you, brother. Thank you for uh, having this interview with us, man. Always. Cool.